Welcome to this Satsoft how-to video. We show how to apply the pattern cut feature to generate a plot of a cut through one or more beams of a contour plot. For illustration purposes, we use a hypothetical service scenario of Japan main islands serviced by a geostationary satellite at 160 degrees east. The antenna is a single offset reflector fed by six feeds that are placed such that their individual element beams cover the intended service area well. We see the contours of these beams here. If we're interested in seeing the crossover levels between the beams, we can now do the following. Right click on the antenna tab in the Project Explorer tree and select New Pattern Cut. First, notice that the projection is given in the current map projection. Some of the more exotic map projections will not allow you to generate a cut. Those could be gamma space, ground space, equal area and orthographic. Next, you can select to perform the cut through element beams and or composite beams. Currently, only element beams are shown, so that is what we select. A cut is defined by means of a starting point, an end point, as well as the resolution. It's possible to locate the cut interactively on the map in this way. Once the cut is created, you'll see it in the Project Explorer and double-clicking will reveal the pattern cut. The component shown is identical to the one displayed in the contour plot. By right-clicking on either a curve, the canvas, or the legend, you have different possibilities of modifying the cut. For example, curves can be turned on and off in this way. The color or line type can be changed like this. And data may be viewed and exported in different formats, as shown here. To look at composite beam instead, we turn the component beams off and turn the composite beam on. We may use the same cut as before or create a copy of it, but we need to modify its properties by right-clicking and selecting Edit Properties. Here we select Composite Beam. We can also change the position of the cut to intersect the main lobe better, as seen here. This plot gives a very clear representation of the ripple inside the coverage. A pattern cut can also be defined in the Composite view, where it can include more than one antenna. This gives the possibility of comparing different antenna patterns in more detail, as offered by the cut plot. We have created another antenna, which is optimized for slightly different coverage. And it's possible to compare the two beams in the composite view as follows. First, we'll change the map projection to longitude and latitude, as seen here. Next, we define a new pattern cut and select to define it by the mouse. I try to generate a straight vertical line and I can adjust the coordinates precisely subsequently as shown here. We now see a comparison between the two patterns along a constant longitude coordinate. With the pattern cut feature, it's possible to further refine investigations and comparisons of the satellite antenna patterns whether they come from external sources or generated internally, and whether they are from multi-beam or shape reflectors. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed learning about the pattern cut plot feature.